Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Dear students, I hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also well. Welcome to our online platform of NIVS Home School. Here, I am Muhammad Farooq Hussain, Assistant English Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Dear students, now I am going to conduct an Agricultural Studies class for the students of class 6. And this is your first class. Dear students, today we will learn about from uh, chapter 1 its discussion okay and you also have a homework okay dear students here I have summarized the whole lesson I will tell you the summary of the whole lesson here you just have an overview on this sheet and hopefully you will be able to understand what is written on your textbook okay Dear students, this chapter's title is Agriculture in Our Life. Dear students, that means by this title, what we can understand? That is, how many necessities does agriculture carry in our life or in our daily life? Okay. In lesson one, we will get area and sectors of agriculture. That means agriculture's sectors we can know it. And in the elaborate uh, notion of this lesson, we will get five basic needs and the needs are food, clothes, shelter, health and education. Dear students, uh, these are our basic needs. Here, we get food and cloth also from agriculture. Dear students, shelter. For shelter or for building up a building, you also need to soil which also comes from uh, agriculture okay then after doing this we can be healthy and to do good farming we need education and the last thing of this lesson is Bangladesh is an agro waste country you know that most of the people of our country of villages are farmers so they Directly or indirectly depends on farming. Okay. Dear students, this was all about lesson one. Now we will learn about lesson two. It's about crop production, fisheries, animals, birds, and afforestation. Dear students, this term may be quite unknown to you. Uh, we will discuss it later. Crop production. Dear students, the first and foremost duty of a farmer is to produce crops. Okay. Uh, it may be any kind of crops. And the crop production is divided into two parts. Field crops and horticultural crops. Dear students, by the word field crops, it's too much easy. Which crops we get from field? Uh, they are uh, lentil, mung, mung bean, black drum, etc. These are called fish uh, field crops. Dear there is also jute, tea, coffee, etc., which are also included in field crops. Dear another crops are called uh, horticultural crops. They are gourd, beans cauliflowers, cabbage, tomato, potato, etc. Dear students, uh, vegetables are also called horticultural crops. And after the crop production, we will get fisheries. Okay? Dear students, fisheries. You know that fish is our famous food, one of our famous foods, fish. And we receive the main part, that means 60% of animal protein from fish. Dear students, another information about regarding fish is that Bangladesh produces the best uh, hilsha fish of the world. And at present, per person, daily demand of fish is about 56 gram. So, uh, you have to evaluate what is the importance of fish and uh, but we receive about only 52 grams per person daily because, because we don't 
टेक फिश एज आवर अवेलेबल फूड ओके दैट मीन्स फॉर ऑल द वी रिक्वायर फिफ्टी सिक्स ग्राम प्रोटीन बट वी आर टेकिंग ओनली फिफ्टी टू ग्राम ओके डे स्टूडेंट्स द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड्स डे स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू नो खाउस बाफेलोज गॉड्स शिप्स एक्सेट्रा आर रिमार्केबल एमंग द डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स वॉट वी गेट बेसिकली वी गेट मिल्क एंड मीट बाय रेयरिंग खाउस बाफेलोज गॉड्स एंड शिप्स ओके एंड वी ऑल्सो गेट एग्स फ्रॉम um hens okay uh, these are good sources of food dear students then we will learn about this afforestation dear students you are quite familiar with the form tree plantation so tree plantation and afforestation are the same that means the way by which we can create garden not garden it's forest okay it's called afforestation so from the forest we can get a lot of oil a country should have 25% of the total area covered with forest to maintain the ecological balance of that country okay but in our country we don't have 25% we have only 17% forest in our country that means this is all about lesson 2 now let's talk about lesson 3 agriculture related uh, necessary information and sources of getting services the students in this lesson we will learn about from where we can get our necessary informations regarding agriculture from experienced farmers the students you know that in the village areas most of the people are farmer so among them there are few experienced farmers so the new farmers can gather information regarding agriculture from them from the agri- experienced farmers then agricultural related uh, directorates we can or a farmer can also get information regarding agriculture from agriculture related directorates then local agriculture office directorates you know that our government had set up a local agriculture office in rural areas so if a farmer don't understand or doesn't understand anything then he can get information from the local agriculture officer that means it may be about seeds or harvest time or any ecological problem something like that okay then agricultural fair districts from fair farmers can know about uh, the new dimension of seeds and crops and by this they can harvest good crops okay this is all about lesson 3 dear friends now let's uh, discuss about lesson 4 the last lesson of this chapter agricultural education and research institutes institutions the students you know that in our country there are 16 public and 154 private institutions regarding agriculture okay besides these there are private agricultural training institutes it's called a a t i okay and from here uh, we can get a diploma under uh, on agriculture okay then number b you will get uh, and we also uh, for a we also have five government universities regarding agriculture then number b agriculture research institute the students in our country there are a lot of agriculture research institutes and this in institutes basically rice research institute that means rri has originated a lot of um, a lot of kinds of rices okay who is that thomas updated okay then 
we will learn about uh, C number agricultural scientist their, their students you know that an agricultural scientist is one who works in an agricultural institution and innovates new varieties that means you know that to cope with the modern world the farmers need to know the information about new varieties of the crops he can explain nicely the life cycle of crop and he stores different types of agricultural information that means the scientists do so such scientists are developing new crops animals breeds and preservation methods of crops and its burning welfare its bringing welfare of the country or welfare to the country okay dear students <coughs> you have homework number 1 it's about mcq or sq you have to make five mcq or sq from this lesson this is your homework dear students this is all our today's class i hope you all got understood today's class it's very much easy topic today and enjoy the class after watching the video i'll suggest you to go through the book and then it would be very much easier to understand i hope this is the end of the class assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi